I'm worried that my son might have autism. This is a mom that said this during one of our consultations. Her two-year-old child was struggling with developmental milestones of head control, lower tone, speech, and socialization, along with immune and behavioral struggles. She was beyond frustrated, trying therapies and medications from specialist after specialist and still was not seeing real improvements. You could feel that this mom was committed to finding answers, but at the same time, she was scared too. What if these symptoms, what if they're at, what are they adding up to? Do I have to worry um, about um, for my child in the future? And how do I get out of this storm? Like this mom, you may have been told that it's just bad luck or genetics leaving you feeling helpless. But what if we told you that there's now strong scientific evidence that a cascade of events beginning even before birth could be affecting your child's developmental growth? These events are surprisingly common, yet often dismissed as harmless by pediatricians. In this video, we'll walk you through what we term the perfect storm and how factors accumulating as early as pregnancy and birth set off a sequence of impacting the nervous system development and draining immunity and progressing into the chronic conditions plaguing so many children today. Best of all, we'll share natural solutions that finally get to the root cause for complete lasting relief. This video is for parents that are noticing subtle to more pronounced developmental delays or social disconnects in their baby's first two years that could potentially signal autism. We'll explain key signs of autism by age range so you understand what you're looking out for and when. We'll also sus um, cover suspected causes like birth trauma and infections that may contribute, plus the important role that specialists like pediatric chiropractors play in support. While no two children are exactly the same developmentally, when we unpack delays, those associated with autism or a bigger diagnosis often have a sequence of struggles that we can observe. While autism affects communication and behavior, the sequence of struggles starts earlier on. While genetics does play a role, environmental factors like maternal infections, prematurity, medications, and birth trauma um, involving oxygen deprivation and damage to the brainstem or upper neck area, they also contribute. Adding up all of the perfect storm of stressors and the central nervous system development, signaling, and integration are most greatly affected. This is why everything, while diagnosed differently, is so intricately interconnected. This is why it's so criti critical to identify autism early to optimize life quality and function. Here are some of the developmental signs to look for early on. Signs appear as early as three months if babies don't reach milestones like eye contact, grasping objects, and bringing um, their hands to their mouth. Additional red flags at seven months if not turning towards sounds, laughing, or engaging, and by nine months not responding to names, copying gestures, or looking where others point could indicate autism. More pronounced symptoms from 12 to 24 months if there's no speech, gesturing, standing, or severe sensory um, sensitivity. Some pediatricians can dismiss delays, but early intervention provides the best outcomes, often through therapies. So where can neurologically focused pediatric chiropractic help? The answer to this question is honestly very simple. It's simple because it all begins with our focus on that main, widely, wildly important operating system, the autonomic nervous system and the vagus nerve. As pediatric experienced trained doctors, we know that there is no cure for autism, nor do we even treat it. We simply and safely work to restore balance to the autonomic nervous system by improving neuromotor tone, mo movement, and coordination. If a child has subluxation and dysautonomia at play, then even if they're getting all the other appropriate therapies like PT, OT, speech, ABA, on a perfect diet, taking supplements, and so forth, they will struggle to see results as long as that nervous system stays in fight or flight, disorganized, and inefficient. The storm begins to brew the moment that the subluxation sets up shop. 
So the earlier that the subluxation and dysautonomia show up and the worse it is, the more likely a child will end up with more severe health and developmental challenges such as autism. So if you have any concerns about your child's development, whether there are subtle disconnects or more pronounced milestones they haven't reached quite yet, it's important to trust your mom gut or dad gut and search for hope, answers, and drug-free help. To discover how we can support children experiencing developmental delays and sensory issues related to nervous system dysfunction at the neurological level, please click the link below. Our doctors are trained in nervous system and our team wants nothing less than your child to reach their full potential.